in my head. I've dropped it like basically every day these last months. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I dropped out of school uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago on a Tuesday. I went to this guidance counselor and I was like bawling my eyes out. I was like, I can't do this anymore. School just gives me anxiety and depression. Like I can't deal. I just feel like just, just feel so stupid all the time. I really don't know what I'm going to study. Like, what am I going to do when I'm done? Like, I don't know what university to go to, whatever. So we had a talk, and I was done in school on a Tuesday. And I was actually feeling super happy, like, after that talk. I was like, you know what? Oh my god, I have so much time. I can go abroad. I'm going to travel to Japan. I'm going to travel to Japan. I can have a year off. I can work a lot, save some money, you know, travel, get to know myself, yada, yada, yada. The more things I do that make me feel good about myself, maybe I'll get closer to what I want to do. Come Wednesday, I'm feeling so bad. Like, I have mad anxiety. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't go out of the house. I just feel so bad. I feel so bad for not going to school. I was like, why do I feel so bad? Like, there is literally no reason that I should feel bad, but I just have this like feeling if I don't go to school, if I don't study as much as I can, if I don't try to get a higher level of education all the time, then I'm basically worthless. So on Wednesday, I was bawling my eyes out and I kind of wrote down, you know, my feelings. Let me just find it. So I wrote this and, you know, I was very emotional, so please don't be rude. Okay, so I wrote down, I can't count how many times I've had mental breakdowns because of school. I can't count how many hours I've been crying. The stress and anxiety I feel before a big test or presentation is so horrible. I actually feel it physically. I feel like I'll always be defined by my grades, my future job, and what I've achieved in life instead of like, you know, the person I am. And this is like super sad. Like, I know I may sound arrogant as fuck like throughout this whole video, but I'm really just sharing my opinions. So please don't come for me. Like I really have been down lately and I'm just trying to make sense of my life. And I really thought that school was not the answer and I still don't think that school is the answer but I don't know what to do with this guilt feeling so remember I dropped out on a Tuesday I was feeling really good on a Tuesday and then on Wednesday I just felt really bad so on Thursday I ended up going back to the guidance counselor and I'm like I'm back beach was good hi <laughs> I'm back and he was so confused like I swear to god like this woman cannot believe she did not believe her eyes. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I was just feeling, I was just feeling some type of way. I'm not, I really think that I need to go to school because I just feel guilty if I don't go to school. And yeah, we kind of talked about that. She said that I choose like what I want to choose instead of like doing whatever I think that is expected for me. But you know what? I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. Like I seriously have no idea why the fuck I went back to school, you know? You know, it doesn't make sense. If I don't go to school, I will feel guilty. I will feel dumb. And I will always wonder, like, what could have been if I go to school? And if I go to school, I'll just feel annoyed, stressed, and have mad anxiety, and just be always, like, you know, on edge. I really don't know what this video is about anymore. But, um, I don't know, for parents and people out there, please don't force people to do what they don't want to do because, you know, it kind of fucks with you. It kind of fucks with you mentally also because I don't know if these are like my thoughts per se. Is it me? Am I really feeling guilty because I don't want to go to school? Or am I feeling guilty because these thoughts have been put in my head? Like if you don't go to school, you won't amount to anything. Like you need education, you need to go to school, you need to go to university, you need to become a doctor, a lawyer, engineer, you know? You need to like have something and i get it like obviously i need a job so i got bills to pay and all that stuff it's just it just fucked up how school makes you feel i am kind of done with school since i have a certificate i have a certificate in like it's called a race to live in the norwegian basically i can work in like hotels i can work in um like the planning departments like events and stuff like that anything with tourism hotel and like planning i can do that so I have like an education but you know it's never good enough because everyone has to go to university and everyone needs a higher degree and blah 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 you know anyways that was my rant I don't know if anyone else is going through this but you know you're not alone I'm here I feel this and it sucks like okay let me try to end this video in a positive way 
try to do what makes you happy, even small things throughout the day. Like I've really noticed that like edit, edit, I can't even talk. I've really noticed that, you know, editing videos and taking pictures, especially now since it's winter, I really, I, I don't like winter, but I really love taking pictures when it's winter. And I really love how the sky looks like, especially the other day, the sky was like pink and it was so beautiful. So try to do small, small things that make you happy throughout the day. And you know, obviously it won't solve all your problems or half of them, but it kind of, you know, those small, small minutes of joy can, can do a lot. So yeah. So I'll be updating you guys on how school is and <laughs> if I drop out again. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Watching this roller coaster of a video, this weird ass video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. Please tell me your school story. Anyways, bye. See you guys later.